All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Monaco, and welcome back to the 2021 Monaco Yacht Show. Right, guys so behind me here we have uh, the 95 meter moti yacht viva this is brand new this is so new they've probably still got the plastic that comes on the back of things when you buy it new you know that you have to peel off it's brand spanking new we're going to take a look at this shot today we're also going to take a look at so, uh, some of the other yachts that are in some of the high profile or the biggest yachts of the show i'm um, going to run through some of the details of, of these yachts and we're going to have a good nosy all right let's do it all right, so Viva is a fed ship. It was built by fed ship. That means it was built in Holland. And uh, it's brand new, as I said. It's, it was delivered in June 2021, so a couple of months ago. It's uh, absolutely brand new. It is ranked 94 in the largest yacht list. So this is a 94 meter yacht, and it's only 94th place on the list of 100 largest yachts. That's incredible to think about, isn't it? So, uh, like I said, 94 meters or 300 feet approximately. And uh, it has a beam of 13 meters, 13.6 meters or about 45 feet. Um, gross tonnage of this boat is 2,999 gross tons and uh, has a steel hull, aluminum superstructure. Uh, the owner of this vessel he wanted the yacht to be as efficient as possible. I'm not going to use those words that everyone uh, slates when you say super yachts eco-friendly, but a very efficient yacht in terms of the uh, emissions that it puts out. It, is, uh, it has the same emissions as a previous fed ship, which was 32 meters shorter. So, you know, it's, it's putting out a lot less emissions for the vessel of this size. Now let's just take a minute to look at the uh, beach club here. I mean, that is an incredible beach club. Stern door falls down, hydraulically falls down. You can see the, the round, the circles around the edge of that door. That's where the, the pins would come out to secure the door uh, when it's underway, so it doesn't leak or open or come off in rough weather. You can see an amazing uh, beach club area there, all set out very nicely with a bar just tucked under. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but just tucked under. There's a, there's a semi-circular bar with stools, and that is a fantastic looking place. You can just imagine hanging out there. On the port side stern, you can see there's another door that opens out there to give a nice view from the bar. That's just really nice. So, up on the top deck there, we've got a helicopter landing pad with a helicopter on board. I'm not quite sure, I can't quite tell what helicopter that is from this position. All right, so this is the, uh, this TV is called the Seed. C apostrophe E E D. Now that, I'm joking, that's the car. It's called the Seed television. That is a folding LED TV and it was designed by none other than Porsche Design. And it, it literally folds up and then disappears into the, into the bottom there. You can also have one that, that folds up and, and, and uh, folds 90 degrees over to the side as well. You don't have the depth underneath. The, the TVs are between um, a million and 1.8 million, depending on which size you want. Well, incredible. You can see it and it's the brightest sunlight right now, middle of the day, and that TV is fully uh, on view. There's no problems with the sunlight. Incredible. All right, guys, so this is a uh, Moti Yacht Tatouche. I've, I've talked about it a little bit already in the previous video or one of the previous videos, so I won't spend too much time on it, but it, it deserves a second mention because it is quite an iconic yacht, I think, in this industry now. It's a 92 meter boat, or 303, 304 feet, uh, and it's 3,300 gross tons, has a steel hull, and it was delivered in 2000, but it's been refit this year. Now, uh, 
if you know the, the previous owner, the late Paul Allen, he had three yachts. He had this, he had Tatouche, Meduse, and Octopus, which is the most famous. And after he died, his wealth went to his sister, I believe, and she has sold uh, Octopus for about $230 million. Uh, dollars, and this is now for sale as well. Uh, this is for sale for 90 million. Uh, like I said, it's been refit this year, and uh, Octopus was refit as well. I went through an extensive refit and hull painting before it was sold, so they, did, they did, really didn't spare the, any expense on getting it up to speed. This vessel uh, features two helicopter landing pads because Paul Allen loved his helicopters has a beach club and dive center. Obviously you can see the beach club right there in front. And it has a 12 meter tender. Also has a cinema on board. And the owner's apartment, uh, if you like, uh, it covers two decks and has its own galley. So he has this, I mean, this is not unusual anyway on, on a super yacht that the owner has his own chef. But in this particular yacht, the owner has his own chef and the chef has his own galley. All right, so regulars of my channel will know this boat because it was featured a few years ago at the Monaco Yacht Show in this very same spot, actually. This is Moti Yacht Bold. This is built by Silver Yachts in Australia, and it's owned by the owner of Silver Yachts, as far as I'm aware, unless he sold it, uh, I don't know. But uh, when it was launched, it was, it was owned by the owner of Silver Yachts, and it's basically a demonstration of what they can do. Uh, there is another in construction right now, identical to this except in white uh, i saw a model of it the other day i don't think it suits white to be honest i think this color suits it perfectly um, if you haven't seen it i did a i did two videos on board this vessel in 2019 or two yeah 2019 uh, one of them was an av tour audio visual tour and it and i show i go around with the guy who created the systems on board and we talk about the whole thing very casually uh, I'll put links below to that video. And I did another one, which was a tour of the video. Okay, so some stats for Moti Yacht Bold. It's uh, 85 meters in length, about 280 feet, uh, 1,500 gross tons. It was delivered in 2019, like I said. Looks like a warship. That is not a stat, that's just my opinion. Uh, I wouldn't feel too worried going through the uh, Persian Gulf in this because it looks, I think all the pirates would keep out of your way. Uh, two massive cranes. There's a crane there on the stern, uh, which can lift the tenders out of the water and place them onto this stern deck where the helicopter is right now, which is, I think that's a Sabka A109, I believe. Um, that's there, um, that's dropped down on the deck. And um, yeah, the basketball hoop there as well, for if you, if you want to play some hoops. Uh, it's an aluminium hull and aluminium superstructure has a top speed of 24 knots, which is very sprightly for a yacht this size, but it is an 85 meter yacht, but uh, it's, um, it's quite narrow. It doesn't have the, the beam of most 85 meter yachts in this size. And as a result, the actual um, gross tonnage of this vessel is, is smaller than what you would expect for an 85 meter. I think it, uh, off memory, it's about 1600 gross tons has a range of four and a half thousand nautical miles. Uh, and some of the features, uh, like I said, the helicopter landing pad here, uh, the sides here drop down. The sides will drop down for when that helicopter is landing. There's also ability to strop it down so that it can be, it's not just touch and go. And also it has um, some toys uh, which can go on there as well, like I said, and the crane is, is there to help the crew get those boats on board. There's also one on the foredeck for lifting out uh, jet skis and stuff into, and putting them into stowage there. Like I said, I don't think this boat is for sale. I think it's more of a demonstration of what you can get from Silver Yachts. All right, so this is a Moti Yacht Kismet. I think this is another of the high profile yachts out there. Um, it's a 95 meter at Lurson, delivered in 2014. Sorry, 95 meters, about 310 feet. Um, builder is Lurson, and it's a steel hull, um, aluminium superstructure. It uh, has a top speed of 17 knots. 
Now, if you want to go on holiday and you fancy chartering Kismet, you can you can pick it up for 1.2 million euros or 1.4 million dollars per week. Uh, if you want to know more about the chartering a vessel and stuff, see my uh, video, my last video, the one about the uh, Silverwind, where I talked to the captain about what the fee for the charter consists of and, and what's on top. Uh, this vessel sleeps 12 guests in seven cabins and it has a crew of 28. Now, if you, if you know, um, if you're American, you'll probably know that the owner is uh, Shahid Khan, who's a Pakistani-American uh, businessman. He owns the uh, NFL football team, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars, and he is the only Muslim-American to own an NFL team. So the, some of the features of this boat is it has uh, two master cabins, in case you're fighting. <laughs> There's two VIP cabins. Has a multi-level swimming pool. I don't know whether I don't know what that means exactly. Whether you can can you swim uphill? Uh, dedicated spa facilities and it has a retractable outdoor fireplace. <laughs> All right, guys. This is a motor yacht IG. It's not a word. Uh, it's spelled I-J-E. It might be a word, actually. I don't know in every language, but uh, I believe it's made up of the initials of his children, uh, the owner's children. Okay, so this is the um, 2019 delivered 108 meter or 354 feet super yacht from uh, Benetti, which is the largest build to date. This is the largest uh, super yacht that Benetti have ever built. So the gross tonnage of this boat is 3,300 gross tons. It has a steel hull. So it has a capacity for 22 guests and 28 crew. Top speed of 21 knots, a cruising speed of 16 knots. It's ranked 51 in on the largest yachts list. That will be by length though. Uh, some interesting facts about this boat. It can carry 365,000 litres of fuel and, and that will get you a range of 6,500 nautical miles. Okay, so the original buyer, according to the Australian press, is Australian-born James Packer and he bought this yacht in 2014 and it was delivered in 2019. Now, that, that gives you an idea of how long it takes for a vessel to be delivered after it's after the conception of that vessel right so at, from the from the day that mr packer went in and signed the paperwork to say he was buying this vessel until it was delivered was five years and that is pretty typical of a vessel of this size but it just gives you an idea and this is one of the things that i i say that when you see a big yacht like this for sale uh, there's, there's a reason why you know it's not like a car that you bought and you know now it's a year old so therefore it, it's not it's only worth 60 percent of what it was it's because it takes five years to build a super yacht like, like this there is and, and the super yacht market right now is booming so there is uh, a waiting list uh, almost of people waiting to buy yachts like this with cash if you do want to buy this yacht it's yours for 175 million euros and that's about 205 million US dollars. So some of the features of this vessel it has a main salon, has a full height sliding glass wall that opens the space on three sides. Uh, it has a huge lower gym, uh, sorry, has a huge lower deck gym and has a sea terrace and a four deck storage for two 12 meter tenders. Uh, that's 40 feet, by the way, 12 meters. That's quite incredible. Also, you, clearly, from this angle, you can see uh, you can see the gym there, and they've got a shell door that opens out, so you can work out uh, in the fresh air. All right, guys, this, this boat, I don't think any of these boats really need a big introduction. Uh, I featured this boat recently on my channel. If you're a regular, you'll remember the video. I filmed it in Genoa. This is Motiart Artifact. 
So, like I said, I featured it before. I'm not going to spend too much time on this boat uh, because, uh, like I said, I already made a video about it, but it's uh, 80 meter or 260 feet thereabouts, delivered in 2020. And this is the, uh, it's the most voluminous yacht of its class. So it's an 80 meter boat and it has 3,000 gross tons. Uh, to put that into perspective, the uh, motor yacht Madame Gu is, is a 3,000 tons and that's a 99 meter yacht. So this vessel was one of the first vessels to comply with the new tier three regulations. And it uses something called selective catalytic reduction or SCR to reduce emissions, uh, namely for nitrogen. It, it's designed to remove nitrogen from exhaust emissions. On, uh, on diesel trucks and stuff, they have something similar. Called, well, it's effectively the same. It's called DEF or diesel exhaust fluid. And one of the misconceptions or myths about this is that they use animal urine in the uh, in the solution that goes in to the scrubbers. So they use something called urea and the, and the exhaust gases pass through it and the nitrogen is removed, uh, reducing the greenhouse effect, right? So the urea is also known as carbamide and it can be produced from inorganic substances. And in these, in these cases it is, there is no animal urine on board this vessel. So, it's a it is naturally a occurring compound that passes through the urine of many animals. And that's where people get this idea that there's actual, they're just filling it up with animal pee. So it's, it's actually a highly refined agricultural grade synthetic urea. So anyway, moving away from that, some of the features, it has solar, pa solar panels and a large battery storage system. So the top, the sun deck is covered in solar panels which makes it very fuel efficient. It, it can actually sail approximately a thousand miles, if memory serves, on batteries alone. All right, guys, uh, I just realized I was just driving back from the Monaco Yacht Show and I realized that I didn't actually film an outro for that video I was doing. So I thought I would pull over here and do it right here. Now, just for some context, this vessel over here, that is Andromeda. And if I turn this way, this vessel over here, that gray one there, that is Flying Fox. So I'm in good company. This is, uh, if you don't know this place, this is Bolio sur Mer, which is about two stops on the train from Monaco. It's ta it takes a, a lot longer to drive because there's so much traffic, but uh, it's a beautiful location, beautiful place to stop, the little uh, parking place here that I'm at. And uh, you've got some amazing scenery. Now, I could get used to this commute. I mean, the traffic's horrendous getting into Monaco, but it's, there's always something to look at on the way in. So anyway, anyway, guys, I just wanted to, I wanted to stop. I wanted to make a, an outro to that video. Uh, they were the largest yachts at the show. There are some other boats there, Quantum of Solace, um, Victorious, uh, a couple of other boats there that are big yachts, but they, those were the biggest yachts at the show. I'll go back and cover those other ones uh, I've got one more day of filming, uh, so this is day three, now the end of day three that I'm filming this, so I've got one more day, so there's so much to cover. Hopefully I will try and get as much in as I can uh, tomorrow uh, to bring it all to you. So uh, please, if you're watching this and you enjoyed it, please hit that like button because it really does help um, get the, the word out to other people. Uh, the more people that like a video, the more it, it is recommended to other viewers. So please like, uh, please make a comment. Uh, if you, you know, tell me what, what boat was your favorite, that kind of stuff. Uh, any comments, put them down below. We'll talk about it in the comments. And I'm gonna head off now. I've got to drive back along the coast road to Nice. What a tough job, eh? <laughs> so, uh, all right guys, I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.